I just crossed the Iowa State line and the Missouri River and I'm now in Nebraska. We're going to check out Nebraska City. And here is the cottonwood, the state tree of Nebraska. I'm coming in Nebraska City and here's downtown now we're gonna take a right here on Central and here's Central now we're still going down Central and right ahead of us is the Missouri River here's the Missouri River And there's actually people fishing out here. And here's the Otoe County Courthouse, erected in 1864. Oldest public building in Nebraska. And here it says, this is the site of the Overland Trail. Uh, 1846 to 1866. And right across the street, we have the Pioneer Theater. Here's another look at the courthouse. And they have art like this all over the city. Well, here's another landmark. Here's the official Oregon Trail marker. On this road, now Central Avenue, was the overland branch of the Oregon Trail, 1849. From the steamboat landing, thousands started westward to Pikes Peak, Salt Lake, California, and Oregon. Nebraska City, 1857. This is the Memorial Walkway. Uh, here's some of the murals and old advertisements all over the city. All right, here's one of the many museums in Nebraska City. This one is the Craigle Windmill Factory. They have a Nebraska City Museum of Firefighting. It's not open today, but it's but here it is. And they have a Civil War Veterans Museum. I'm here at the Arbor Lodge State Historical Park and it's within the city limits. And here's the entrance. And why is it called Arbor Lodge? Well, let me tell you. The land was part of the estate of J. Sterling Morton, the founder of Arbor Day. You learn something new every day. Here they have a first settler's home replica, 1890. And I'm here at Monument Square, and in front of us is a is the goddess Daphne, and also the whispering bench. Now a person sits at the end of each end of the bench and whisp one whispers into the back wall and the other can hear what is said. So let's get a closer look at the bench. And here it is.
And here's a J. Sterling Morton, 1832 to 1902. Author of Arbor Day. Arbor Lodge, the stately 52 room mansion was completed in 1903 by Joy Morton, oldest son of J. Sterling and Caroline Morton.